What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my updated skincare routine. So I think the last time I did this was almost, I think it was the beginning of quarantine. So that would have been three months ago. I can check. Let me see. Okay. So yeah, the last time I did a skincare routine or like was three friggin' months ago. Wow. That went by fast as hell. So something has changed. Some things have changed. Some things have changed. Some have not, so we will cover that. So I'm actually doing my morning routine right now because it's morning, and then I'm gonna do a separate night routine as well that I'll just attach at the end. So my morning and my night routine. Let's get started. Okay, so first, um, the cleanser has stayed the same. This is the Equate Foaming, uh, Foaming Facial Cleanser. This is like $2.89 or whatever at Walmart. So around $3 at Walmart. So yeah, everything's the same on that. So I'm just gonna wash my face and I'll pop on back. Cool. All right, so, ooh, eyebrows. So the main concern for my face now is it's getting clearer, but I still have it's not even active, it's just an acne scar now. So that's kind of what we're doing. Like, this is all smooth, even though it looks really bumpy. Or like, you know, has acne scars. But that's what I'm basically trying to work on now. So my, you know, I had cystic acne. I still get a couple here and there. But overall, my face is just kind of, you know, scarred from it. So that is kind of my skincare goals right now. So after I do that, I'm going to actually put on, this is a new product. This is the Invisascar from Murad. Okay, so this stuff is for acne scarring. Um, it was on sale at Sephora. I got both of these for 35 bucks, which normally this one itself is like 39, so it's totally a good deal. Oh, I'm sorry about the nubs too. I'm gonna do them later, but I just got out of the shower, so I'll do them in a second. But yeah, those two, I think they're still on sale. I'll link it below if they are, otherwise I'll just link them separately. But yeah, so you put this on, and the consistency of this is almost like like a pore filling primer, that's what it looks like. So I'm just gonna put that all along here and you kind of just do like a spot treatment. Place that in first, then put a little bit more on. And this area really cleared up. Like this stuff has helped a lot. I think I'm like, through two or three weeks into it and it's already cleared up a lot. So you have to do it for eight weeks or um, till you like finish the bottle here. And I got all below my nose. Yeah. But yeah, this is the skin right now. So it's not doing too bad. And just kind of pat everything in. Ooh, my eyelash, going crazy. Okay, so after I pat that in, then I am going in with my renewing eye cream. This is something I use day and night. I'm almost out of it though, so. I think I'm gonna get their retinol one next. I don't know if this has retinol in it, but I, I am a total fan of retinol. All right, I just rub that on my ring fingers. And up top. My eyelids right now are super dry, I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's put a little bit more on. And everything's really like more of a padding motion than it is like rubbing it in. You know what I mean? I think I do a, like a general and then I do it, all right. Hello camera, all right. And right in here. And then whatever extra I just put on my lips. Okay. Okay, so after that, this is a new price from The Ordinary. This is the Hyaluronic Acid. If it wants to zoom in, hello. Cool, so Hyaluronic Acid. Um, so I'm gonna put this. It's Hyaluronic Acid 2% and B5. So this is really good for keeping your face plump and moisturized. So I almost kind of use this as my moisturizer right now. So I'm just gonna take a good amount of it. It has a sticky consistency, 
So I kind of just stick it into my face. Sticking it, yeah, it has a sticky consistency. And I'll do a little bit more. But yeah, that's a new product that I got at Ulta. And I think it's like six or seven bucks. So it's not a bad price. It's like vegan hyaluronic acid. But you know, it's an acid, so I feel like it would be vegan anyways. But it's, again, pat that into my skin. And yes, it's very, it's pretty sticky. So after that, I use a moisturizer, but I'm almost out of mine and I was using this um, Seafresh Brightening Cream, so I'm just gonna kind of scrape whatever is left. But yeah, that's something I need to get more of. There is like none in that bottle. Well. So yeah. Whatever is in that bottle, I'm just gonna stick on top. And this is something new. So, I'm gonna be using this oil mattifier from Miran. And then, that's a new product, and also this. This is the De Bronzy Drops from Drunk Elephant. So it's supposed to be all the good stuff from the sun, without the sun, and you just like drop them into like a moisturizer or a sunscreen. So I will show you how it's done. So first, this is the color of the Steve Meister. I'm gonna put a good amount of this on my hand. Like this. And then I'm gonna take the deep bronzy and I'm just gonna drop half a pump in there. Okay, mix it together like normal. That's what the color will change to. And just apply like you normally would. I feel like I'm definitely gonna need more. Yep, need more. So I'm just gonna do pretty much the same thing again. Drop some down. Deep bronzy. And this one has sunscreen in it, but I also like to use some more sunscreen in case. It depends, kind of like, if I'm staying in the house, I will just wear that, but I usually take my little puppy for a walk, so I like to go outside. Um, ooh, I just ran out of it. Now I'm gonna take some physical sunscreen. Drop this in your hand. This one's from Bear Republic. Got it at Ross. I'm just gonna use a little bit. And I'm gonna actually put some more deep bronzy in that and I'm just gonna cover my chest with that. Oh my God, dog hair everywhere. And I kind of just press this in. And take a little bit more. Here's without the deep bronzy. This is what it's actually blending in a lot easier than it normally does this morning. And cool. That way, just my chest is covered. I've got something on before I go outside. And make sure you get your hands. And I do a lot more padding than I normally would. I just think it feels good with all like the products on your face. So, I mean, that right there is pretty much good for me for the day. And I did these like little DIY eyelash extensions, which I love. So if you're interested in that, I'll link that above. But it just is nice to have some skincare on, be protected from the sun, put a little lip 
lip mask on. This is that Laneige stuff. And now I feel comfortable to go out in the sun. So yeah, that is gonna be my morning routine. And now we'll enter my night routine. What's up everybody? It's nighttime. So we're gonna do the nighttime or my nighttime skincare routine. All right, so first I'm going to just tuck my hair behind my ears and I'm gonna start with cleansing. So I don't do an, a double cleanse in the morning, but I do double cleanse at nighttime, especially if I'm wearing a little bit of makeup or whatever. So I'll be going back in with this stuff, but then I'm also going to, every couple of days I throw in this as well. I think you're supposed to use this, yeah, two to three times weekly. So every other day I pretty much use this at nighttime because you don't want to put makeup on top after you use um, any kind of like acids and or um, yeah, any type of acids on your face or all that good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one and then use this one. Okay, so my, my face is still a little bit wet, a little bit, it's still freaking wet. So now I'm gonna go in with this stuff. And we're gonna load that up. About that much. Pat your face dry. Now I'm gonna go in with my Murad in um, environmental shield, the Vita C glycolic. So I was using the Truth Serum by Ulla Henriksen before, Ulla, whatever you want to say. And it's good, but I just felt like I could be doing something better. You know what I mean? If I'm gonna put a vitamin C serum on, I want it to be a little bit better. So this one has glycolic in it with the vitamin C. So I switched to this one probably about a month or two ago, and I'm really loving it. So the consistency is really cool. It's very like pearly. I'm just gonna take that. I just rub that into my skin. And then take a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna rub that up my neck and chest. Cool. Okay, so once I have that stuff on, then I'm gonna go in with my Invisiscar. This one I do use morning and night just because I want the results to be fast. So yeah, a little bit of that stuff on. And very like spot treatment and on too to the spa, spa treatment on. And over here. It's mainly just focused on my chin and everything just cause that's where I get most of like my acne and acne scars. I mean this is it, this one's been a total bitch. But it's okay, whatever. Okay, so once I have that on, I'm going to go in with the Murad Renewing Eye Cream. I use this one morning and night as well, just cause when I was in school, I think it was like a year ago, this one semester where school just got freaking hard as hell. And I could just tell I wasn't doing my skincare. I looked like shit when I went to school and I was like, it's time for an eye cream. So I, inve I invested in that one and I'm on my second bottle of that now. And I've just noticed a big difference from that one. But I also think it's time to switch it up. So once I'm out of that, which will be soon, I will update you on the next one I get. I'm probably gonna, I think I said it this morning, get the retinol one. Cause I don't think this one has retinol cause this one's kind of like a little bit older. But there is a vitamin C dark circle one too. So I just feel like my eye area is a little bit more dry than than a like concerned of like dark circles. But you know what? We'll test out. And then any extra that I have, I just touch up on my lips. Okay, so now getting back into some new products, or at least the same one from this morning, 
our hyaluronic. We're gonna put some of that on. And again, I just glob it up. It's way more than two drops. And I know I said earlier that I like ran out of moisturizer, but I ran out of day moisturizer. So I have, okay, so I have a night cream, which I love, which is this Sika Pear Dr. Jart. I actually got this at Marshall's for $19.99. It were all good for the expiration date and all that, and all that jazz. But it's 48 bucks, it's four, and I got it for $19.99, so you can't freaking beat it. Really good for redness and rosacea. So I'm gonna put that in areas that are a little bit more dry. So kind of like around my nose and stuff. So it's, it looks green, by the way. Yeah, I found that stuff and I, I literally was gonna buy it from Sephora like two days before and then boom, it's at Marshalls. Ah, can't get any better. So I rub it through my hands. I kind of rub it through the center of my face because I did put on that hyaluronic serum. So I feel like Right now, it's summer, it's so freaking hot, like I'm sweating like a mofo at all times of the day. And then any extra, I'll kind of like just press into the rest of my face. I know it looks super weird, but it's all good. Okay, super moisturized. And the last part, put on a nice little lip balm. One of these, boom. Again, I use this this morning. I use it all the time, to be honest. It's just really nice. And yeah, that's what my face is looking like right now. And I'd say the only updated thing is I've actually been using the AHA from The Ordinary, the 30%, once a week or even twice a week. And I've really been enjoying this stuff. So you can get it at Ulta. Um, Sephora does stuff online only, but Ulta is in store, so it's like six seventy or like seven bucks like that, under ten dollars. So it's definitely one. So yeah, that is gonna finish my nighttime skincare routine. If you have any questions on product I use or anything like that, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, have a wonderful night, you guys. Thanks for coming to my video. Thanks for coming to my video, and I'll see you.